Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to Kitchen Talk with Grandma. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm having a great day as always, and I'm so glad to see you guys spending a few minutes with me today. But before we start this conversation, you guys know what you need to do. Go ahead, right on down there at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and take care of that thumbs up button. Go ahead and share my video with all your family and friends. And go ahead and subscribe to Kitchen Talk if this is your first time of checking out Kitchen Talk with Grana. And guys, make sure when you're sharing my videos, you're having your family and friends to go ahead and subscribe to Kitchen Talk with Grana. I am almost at 300 followers and I would love to hit that goal before the end of this year. We're, we're right at the beginning of December. And so we got about Mm, 28 29 more days in this month so i would love to hit that 300 goals so make sure you're telling your family your friends about kitchen talk with grandma so i can go ahead and meet that goal before the end of 2020 okay all right thank you guys so much okay so let's go ahead and get ready and jump off into this conversation for today oh and one more thing before we jump off into this um, conversation i want to go ahead and send a big big shout out to my granddaughter uh for her birthday i have several birthdays this month uh first i want to send a shout out out to katie kk cadence uh birthday she's turning seven and my other granddaughter charlie Charlie Charlie, she's turning seven also. They're like four days apart. And then my daughter, Shay Shay. Shay is um, birthday is also this month. So those three young ladies in my life all have birthdays back to back. So happy birthday to all three of them. KK, Charlie, and Shay. I hope you guys have great birthdays this year, okay? Love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. Okay. All right. So we are right at a month after this election and <laughs> I just have to laugh because um, it's a month and like a day or so since we had our election on November the 3rd and um, President Trump he just will not concede he just he just will not let the words come out of his mouth he just don't want to just take a take a l he just do not want to take that l you know what i mean he just don't want to do it and i don't know for whatever reason he's a sore loser he don't want to um admit to the world that he lost this election i don't know but we're, we're, you know, like I said, our money in, and Joe Biden has already started, you know, naming his cabin, and um, they finally, you know, authorized him or gave him what he needs for his national security so that he can start doing some of the things and being involved with the uh, COVID-19 committee and you know being able to uh communicate with that team that's already on that committee and those kind of things but um i just guess uh president trump is just gonna take it all the way to january 20th like i said earlier in one of the videos that i talked about uh they're gonna have to drag his ass up out of there i mean excuse my french but they're just gonna have to drag him up out of there he's just not gonna um you know, they recounted in Georgia, they recounted, you know, Pennsylvania, and, you know, they've doing these recounts and just wasting taxpayer money because they're having to pay these people to do this recount. And he's just not, um, he don't care. <laughs> he just don't care. He's not gonna take that L. He's just gonna fight it all the way up, you know, till come January. So it's time for them to, um, you know, for, for um, uh, elected President Biden to actually take the oath and and become, you know, official, be officially become the president. President Trump is not going to do it. He's, he hasn't called him. He hasn't invited him to the White House. He hasn't done any of the traditional things that come along with the new president being elected to take over the office. He hasn't done any of that. So it's going to be interesting come January the 21st how all this 
take place because he hasn't done any of the initial things that leads up to that day. You know, it, it's just crazy. This man, <laughs> it's just crazy. You know, he, <laughs> he has proven that he is definitely not a team player. He has proven that he doesn't give a damn about this country because if he did, he would be working with uh, elected President Joe Biden to make sure that we are safe and he's doing what he needs to do as a team player. Just when it comes to this coronavirus, he would try, he would be definitely communicating with him, uh, with the elect president and his team and bringing them up to date on what he's done. You know, he's claimed he's done so much. And you know, he he's done some things, you know, he, you know, give him what credit is due, give him his the credit, you know, for what he's done. Give him give it give it to him, you know. But it's hard to give him credit for anything when he won't do the right thing, you know. But um it's really sad to have other countries looking at what's going on now and see that we can't even come together when the people of the United States has spoken and has voted for a new president and our president that we have now will not even accept it and be a team player, you know, what are they thinking about it? They looking at us like, like we're crazy, you know? <laughs> They're saying that, you know, I'm sure they're probably saying, well, hell, that, you know, the president, that, that President Trump ain't, ain't won't acknowledge it or, or won't support the Biden team and, 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 and you know, and, and be behind them and having the people that support him come on board to support the Biden team. You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, and he's going to drag this out all the way to January, January. <sighs> It, it's it's just so crazy. It's so crazy where you just come to the point where you don't even want to hear anything else about it. You don't even want to watch it. it. It's so depressing and so frustrated when you turn on the news and it's the same thing over and over. You see Trump out here playing golf and all these crazy ass tweets that he's putting out here and and oh he's a hundred percent sure that it was fraud and he's still talking about he won and. And you know, and all this stuff, and it, it's it's just crazy. It doesn't make any sense. And the in the in the few Republican that has spoke up instead of telling him he need to concede, but he just he ain't listening. It's just going in one ear and out the other one, you know. And then he already talking about I'm gonna run again next. I'm gonna run again in four years. Well, okay, if you saying you are gonna run again in four years, and you saying you didn't win, so then just go ahead on, dude, man. Just take the loss and move on. Go ahead on, start packing your stuff up. You know, have tell uh, Melania to go and get her stuff together, and and tell your your kids and Ivanka and all them they need to go and pack their little stuff up and get their stuff together and and head on up out of there. You know, get yourself together. You already said you're gonna run again and you know, in four years, so go and get yourself together. And get up out of there. You know, on one hand, you pretty much saying you lost. You said you're going to run again. So, you know, why are you dragging this out? Why are you wasting people's time? Why are you wasting, you know, money paying these people to come back and do all these recounts when they started telling you that you still have lost by so many numbers? thousands of, of, of votes you still lost by a, a large amount that you there is no way you're gonna win these these states there's no way i don't get it man just ride on off into the sunset go play your golf every day do whatever go run your other business that you have to do just go somewhere and sit down why are you making such a big scene out of out of this you know but you know it it is what it is at this point, you know, there's no way he's gonna, he's gonna be able to stay up into the White House. And, you know, it's gonna, like I say, it's just gonna be interesting come January, how this transition, hell, he may not even show, he may not even show up, you know, how they, they, you know, the day that they, that, that the, that the elected president take the oath and they get sworn in and all that. And then the, um, the outgoing president, 
and their family uh, walked out to the to the uh, the Air Force One and and the other the other family waving by and they getting on the plane and we may not even see none of that. <laughs> we may not even get to see the Trump and them, you know, going to get on the Air Force One. And, he may not even be there for the president to get sworn in, for Biden to get sworn in. We may not even get to see none of that. This may be, this may be another hit, uh, moment in history where none of that happens. It just may not even happen. It's just crazy. It's, I'm definitely going to be watching it to see what happened come January and see how that's going to, uh, how that's going to expire. How you know how that's going to take place. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, you know. It is what it is. This man has done exactly what he said he's going to do. He said from day one he was never going to uh, concede. He said he was going to fight it all the way till the day of inauguration. And and that's what he's doing. You know, um, you know we're into December now. And, um, you know, that's what it is. So we're just going to have to ride this on out. You know, I'm not watching as much news as I was because like I said it's boring it's depressing it's frustrating because you're still looking at these tweets that he's sending out you're still listening to some of the stuff that his uh, his lawyer talking about and and he need to go somewhere and just sit down and and you're looking at it and you just like lies 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 and liar, liar, your pants on fire. You know, you just looking at this stuff and you just laughing. And I'm like, man, let me just go on, turn over here to the Food Network and let them watch some baking going on. Or let me just go on, watch uh, uh, something, the bacon. Let me watch uh, last, uh, last Alaskans or anything, the, the wild, wild animal channel, anything. Anything on TV other than what, the, other than what they talking about on CNN, because it's the same thing. Over and over, Trump just out here, just, 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 just wilding out, just doing, doing all this crazy tweeting like he always do. So I just rather watch some of this other stuff that's going on. Let me look at some animals over here that's over here going crazy, or tripping, or whatever. You know, whatever's going on. I rather really look at some of that. Let me look at some of these kids baking. Let me look at the, you know, the holiday baking channel or something. It's just crazy. It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. But you know what? This man will go down in history for one of the craziest presidents we've ever had. He did make history. He definitely made history because he will be remembered for all this foolishness that he's got going on. So he definitely made history. And we will, when they say Trump, you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember President Trump. Mm -hmm. He the one. He the one that had all this foolishness. He the one that was always tweeting something crazy. He the one that, 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 that would not Take a L. Yeah, we're going to remember all that. All that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to throw that on out there because I don't know if you guys still have been watching it or not, but I just want to throw that on out there. Here we is into December now, almost a month after the election, and this man still would not concede. Okay. All right, guys. Um, before I get up out of here, make sure you're still wearing your mask. Make sure you still got your hand sanitizer. You're still being safe. You're still social distance. Coronavirus is still out here kicking butts. People are still getting sick. People are still dying. Just be safe and just live the best life that you can. Be kind to everybody you come in contact with. And I'm going to catch you guys next time around. Mm -hmm.